Hello everybody, this is Jack Dennis and welcome to our channel. Happy Thanksgiving to all. The, today's offering is really one of the more intriguing uh, parts of fly fishing, especially if you're a dry fly fisherman, and that's trichos, a mayfly that comes out usually in the late summer and early fall. Very frustrating, they're small, they're black. Uh, the old uh, term black gnat uh, was a fly that they used to imitate them and actually quite uh, similar to the patterns that we have right now. But this is one of the, my more important patterns, this uh, uh, sunk, I call it sunk trico. It's really a drowned trico as John Barr calls it. But the trichos bring out uh, some of the best and the worst in trout. They love to pot up and go after these uh, insects, uh, but they're only on the water for a short period of time. However, they do get drowned, and that's what John calls it, a drowned trico spinner. And they can be fished literally all day uh, using a variety of different methods, usually underneath uh, another dry fly, such as a blue wing olive after the uh, uh, hatch has gone by. But this is really an important pattern that I use all the time because I love the, uh, and they may call me crazy here, but the psychological strain and being able to see, and that's why I use the two fly system, but trichos brings out the best and worst in fly fishermen. John's pattern will help you get a lot better. <laughs>
Antron wing in. Antron sinks, Polly floats. Uh, and also, Antron, when the sun's on it, gives off kind of a little eerie glow that I think really... Uh, I always... <laughs> oh, man, that did a little sucking action there. I always wet, wet the Antron before it just ties in better. Hey, uh, that's good. And so this Antron kind of glows a little kind of pale bluish color. I think that triggers bites. You can just figure, figure eight that in. Mm -hmm. And if you keep it fairly sparse and fairly short, we're not going to try to make like a full size. We want this thing to sink. And just with the Antron kind of glowing and stuff, it kind of creates an illusion. Mm -hmm. you know, but, and then... To top this off, just to make sure that this thing sinks, we've got, it's just going to be very sparse. We've got Antron that sinks, thread body, that's not going to float. We're using this quick descent dubbing made out of aluminum shavings. Ooh. So it's metal dubbing. <laughs> Good for, for a, e, a fly you want to but descend. Right. So what, what, what's the name of this material? It's called quick descent, and it's from Hairline. From hairline, okay. Hairline dubbing, quick descent. Yeah. Okay. Should sink really nicely. And this is kind of fun stuff. You can put it on and then almost mold it with your fingers. Right. Uh, so we're just going to put a pretty beefy little figure eighting it in. Yeah. Or xing it in. Yeah, xing it in. And they say trichos have pretty darn beefy little. Thoraxes, if you look at them, I mean they're really quite on the on the large, thick side. Ooh, it looks nice. It's got all the right elements. Again, taking some of the fibers off. Yeah, so we'll take some of that off. That didn't come off quite as nice. So anyway, uh, that's about done, isn't it? Done deal. I like that. And I fished it. Um, Pounded fish through they just about impossible to get them on a real trichos and and every fish that I got it from it was true without imitation. You know, like up in Missouri, right. South Platte pounded fish down by Deckers back before the Hayman fire wiped it mm -hmm. out. And these fish just readily I mean you could, this yeah. is where you could see the fish, they'd be taking and all of a sudden this drought would come along and they just go mm. yeah. Well, you know, the trichos uh, so can it, start as early as July in some areas and as late as uh, September in other areas. Well, our trichos here can start in the middle of June and go oh to October. Gosh. Yeah, that's a, that's a great great okay, pattern. Check this out. We'll see if we get the angle here. You can just kind of mold this with your fingernails. Looking good, John. Yeah, I like that. You know, so, yeah. so, so if you want a little, you know, so you don't have to lay it in there perfect the first time. Anyway, that's... That's it, baby. You got to trim it now. Then we we make fairly short little wings because we, again we want them to sink real fast. But that's a fly. I mean, Ooh, look see. at all these different angles. Look at your glasses there. there. Yeah, let's not forget we have. Okay, wait a minute. Our tails. Yeah, that's right. You can do it from the other side. Got tails there, and it's kind of a droopy tail if it sunk. Let's take. Take a look at that. There, you really get to see it from from that angle right there. Yeah, all the way around, Mr. Trico. And another thing people, that I always, my experience was after fish quit rising trichos, the fishing really got tough. But the thing is, they are still keyed on trichos. But what they're doing is getting up on the heads of runs and just chowing on drowned trichos. And there's so many of them that blanket the water. Yeah, and there's so many of them that get augered down, get sunk to the waterfalls and stuff. So you, after they quit rising, you go up to the heads of runs with a hopper, an 18 black copper, and drowned trico, and you'll just have all kinds of fun. It's called multiple fly fishing. For about an hour and a half. Yeah, not, a lot of, not a lot of false casting. No, and, and only have, have your copper a foot under your hopper. Foot under the hopper. Co the copper John you, 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 hopper. They're usually getting quite copper shallow John water. Copper John hopper sunk trico deal. Yeah. A new experience. There you go.